Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Photoshop Quick Tips podcast. My name is Justin Seeley, and I'll be your host. In this week's episode, we're going to be taking a look at a really awesome three-step technique that will allow you to apply an amazing effect to any photograph using Adobe Photoshop CS4. Now, I'm not saying you can't accomplish this little technique I'm about to use on any photograph using another version of Photoshop. It's just going to take you more than three steps. All right, The three basic steps here convert to a smart object, run a filter, change a blend mode. That's it. If you can do those three, you can create some awesome photos here inside of Photoshop. So I've got a photo here, and the photo's not bad. It's a really good photograph. I got it from uh, the Stock Exchange website. If you want to check that out, you can find lots of royalty-free stock images there, and they're free of charge too, by the way. And what we're going to do to this photograph is just kind of punch it up a little bit, give it a little bit more of an edge, because that seems to be the trend now. Everybody wants their photography to be edgy, grungy, stuff like that. So, three steps. Step number one, convert to a smart object. You can right-click the layer or go to the filter menu, but either way, we want to convert it to a smart object. Once we convert it to a smart object, you'll see a little icon on it like that. If it was the background layer, you'll notice that it will change to layer zero. Now, the filter. Go to the filter menu, go down to distort, and choose lens correction. When the lens correction dialog box opens, it's a very large dialog box, there's only a couple of things that we really need to be worried about. Number one, I'm going to turn the grid off right down there at the bottom. When I turn the grid off, you're going to be able to see your picture a lot better. The only thing we're going to change is the vignette. And the vignette is right here. You can see. I'm going to take that vignette slider, take it all the way to the left. Once we do that, you can see it's darkened the edges of my photograph, and I'll hit OK. Boom. Instant vignette around the outside. And you're thinking, well, OK, whoop de doo I've seen that hundreds of times. Here's where it gets cool. Come down to your Layers panel, and next to the Smart Filter that says Lens Correction are these little slider icons that look like this. All you have to do, double click. And that will launch the blending options for that particular filter. In this case, it's the lens correction filter we applied. We're going to change the blend mode from normal to overlay. Instant pop, instant grunge, awesome looking effect. If it's too harsh, you might want to dial down the opacity or change the blend mode to soft light. Now you can also play around with other blend modes. I've had blend modes that worked uh, such as multiply, hard light, vivid light, all that kind of stuff. Just play around with the blend modes till you get a look that you like. When you're done, hit OK. Now here's the best part about this tutorial. Not only is it short, three steps, but it's completely reversible. If tomorrow I come back and I'm like, you know what, I really don't like that, I can just go to the layers panel, click the eyeball icon, turn the smart filter off. So here's the before and here is the after. Pretty big change, awesome looking effect, three simple steps. And that's it. So if you have any questions or comments, you can send those to me over Facebook or Twitter, twitter.com slash Justin Seeley, facebook.com slash Seeley FB, that's S-E-E-L-E-Y, the letter F and the letter B. You can post questions, comments, request for new tutorials, anything on there. That's the easiest way to get a hold of me. But if you want to email me, you can do that as well. Justin at Seeley, S-E-E-L-E-Y, -E -E dot TV, as in television. So thanks, everybody, for watching this episode of the Photoshop Quick Tips podcast. My name is Justin Seeley. I'll see you next time.